Hello, everyone, and welcome to our online learning program, High School Orientation. My name is Rebecca McAlpine, the Director of Engagement. I'm super excited to be your tour guide throughout all of our weeks of welcome sessions. As we jump here into today's session, I have the honor and the privilege to hand off the microphone and the webcam to Mrs. Michelle Woods. She is our online high school coordinator. She's going to walk you through all of the content and all the details of today's orientation, followed by a Q&A session where we will both be available to help answer any of your questions that you might have. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Michelle and she's going to take it away. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you guys for being here today. So welcome to our online learning program orientation. So I'm Michelle Woods, your online high school coordinator, and I'm excited for you all to be joining the Compass family this school year. Sorry. Today, we're going to go over our mission and vision, values, an overview of Compass, and the online learning program attendance and work samples, live sessions, Scholar Compass email, class link, LCA, engagement offerings, and there will be a chance to ask questions. So a lot of good stuff coming at you today. So let's start here. So our mission and vision are very important to us here at Compass. Since all of the information presented today is geared towards our scholar's success and sticking to our Compass mission and vision, I think it's important to review these this, more, this afternoon. So let's take a look. So our mission is to inspire and develop innovative, creative, self-directed learners, one scholar at a time. Our vision is to create a collaborative, virtual learning community, inspiring scholars to appreciate the ways in which arts and sciences nurture a curiosity for lifelong learning and prepare scholars to take responsibility for their future success. Our values are achievement, respect, teamwork, integrity, and communication. And they are all central to all we think, say, and do here at Compass. So a little bit about who we are. So Compass is one of California's leading public charter schools serving scholars throughout the state in transitional kindergarten, TK, kindergarten and grades first through 12. A Charter school is a free public school that has the freedom to individualize our scholars' education more freely than a traditional public school. A charter school is a public school. So although we have freedom in some aspects, we are still required to adhere to the public school laws and regulations. We have multiple schools throughout California. We have charters in San Diego, Los Angeles, and Yolo counties. We are an independent study program with two choices, our options learning program and our online learning program. Compass is designed and organized to serve families and scholars who have chosen a very unique educational setting that can meet an individual scholar's needs. So we're going to get into an overview of our online program and just talk a little bit about what it's about. Compass provides you with a highly qualified teacher who provides the direct instruction and support for each of our online scholars. You, as the learning coach, support at home. So let's dive into the different policies, documents, and roles in our online program. So let's start with the master agreement, or MA. That's the essential agreement that ensures our scholars and learning coaches to continuing their enrollment at Compass. And here's a little bit how it works. So first, there's a connection meeting. So before that MA can be signed, the parent or legal guardian must meet with the supervising teacher. This meeting is to review the agreement and ensure everyone understands the commitment. Okay, there's a signature that'll be needed on that MA from the scholar, the parent or guardian, and the supervising teacher. This signifies everyone agrees to the terms. Okay, it is a legal document, so it must be signed, dated, and returned to Compass for the scholar to be officially enrolled. 
Okay, curriculum. No one will have access to the curriculum until Compass receives the signed MA. This step is crucial for starting the academic journey with us. Timely return. It's important to return that MA dated within the first three days of receiving it. This helps us keep everything on track and running smoothly. And then lastly, each year, a new MA must be signed for each scholar. This ensures we start each year with a clear mutual understanding. Failure to return the signed MA within the first three days will lead to a mandatory meeting with the superintendent and CEO or their designee. This meeting will determine if continuing enrollment at Compass is the best option for the scholar. So let's make sure we get all those agreements signed promptly to avoid any disruptions. A little bit about our online learning program. Every scholar has a supervising teacher, or we call them STs, who is their go-to person for all things Compass. You'll be having monthly connection meetings with your ST, and we highly encourage both scholar and the learning coach, you, to join these meetings. To make the most of these meetings, please turn your cameras and your mics on for that more personal face-to-face -face experience. In addition to the ST, your scholar will have a credential teacher for each content area. In online, we use a program here called Accelerate Education for our curriculum, ensuring high quality educational content. For the high school, we offer A through G approved courses that meet college admission requirements. Scholars in grades six through 12 will also have an assigned counselor who provides additional support and guidance throughout the school year. Our online program offers live learning lab sessions for grades six through 12, which are truly amazing. Our teachers are incredibly talented and develop fun, engaging, exciting virtual lessons for our scholars. So once you receive that live learning schedule, be sure to set up alerts in your calendar so your scout scholar never misses out on these fantastic sessions. Additionally, we hold Q&A sessions where we can get answers to all of your questions. It's a great way to stay informed and connected. So please, when the time comes, take full advantage of all those resources to support our scholars' success. For our high school, we have a comprehensive range of courses that meet those A through G board requirements. These rigorous courses are designed to prepare scholars for potential California University admissions and pave the way for future academic success. So a little bit about the A through G expectations. Um, the regular, they're rigorous college prep classes. They're designed to be challenging and prepare scholars for college level coursework. Okay, there's pacing guides. Scholars must follow a course pacing guide to ensure assignments are completed on time and the course is successfully finished. There are also proctored exams. So major assessments such as midterms and finals, they're proctored for these courses. This ensures academic integrity and proper evaluation of scholars' understandings. There are also final projects for those project-based courses. Scholars are required to present their final projects. This helps in developing critical thinking and presentation skills. There are weekly learning labs and Q&A sessions. So again, scholars are expected to attend those weekly learning labs and Q&A support sessions. These sessions provide additional support and help. Although it's gonna help your scholar stay on track in their courses. So count on being there and the teachers love seeing them in those learning labs and Q and A's. And then some additional opportunities. We have of course electives, we have AP courses. We've introduced a variety of electives and AP courses to bolster students' academic profiles. Some of the elective courses include cybersecurity, first aid, an intro to AI, and certification prep courses for Microsoft PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Some of the AP courses, and of course AP stands for Advanced Placement Courses, are AP English Language and Composition, AP English Literature and Composition, 
AP United States History, and AP World History. These courses provide an opportunity for scholars to earn a college credit while still in high school. So by offering these rigorous courses and additional opportunities, we aim to provide our high school scholars with a robust and well-rounded education that prepares them for future academic and career success. So I kind of mentioned some of these roles earlier, but I wanna get into specifics about um, the roles of the supervising teacher. So the supervising teacher or SC, ST is vital to your scholar's success at Compass. So here's just an overview of some of the things that you'll expect from your ST. They're gonna schedule monthly connection meetings, okay, with each family. They're gonna work with your scholar on goal setting, Okay, to set those meaningful and achievable goals. This helps everyone kind of stay focused and motivated throughout the school year. Okay, they're gonna help support through live sessions. So our STs host synchronous live sessions that provide real time interaction and support. They're a great way for scholars to ask questions and engage with the curriculum that they're doing online. They're also going to provide curriculum support, so helping to navigate any challenges and ensuring that the learning material is accessible and understandable. Okay, your ST is also going to keep up with your scholars' academic progress, so they regularly review academic progress to monitor how well your scholar is doing. And this helps in identifying any areas where extra support might be needed, and they're going to celebrate achievements, of course. Okay, the ST is also going to record maintenance. So just any kind of record maintenance, um, progress activities, just making sure that all the documentation is up to date. And then lastly, the onboarding and access. So the STs will help ensure that your scholar is properly onboarded and can access all of the tools and resources needed for a successful school year. This includes helping with logins, navigating AE, and understanding how to use various educational tools. So your ST is the primary support system at Compass. They're dedicated to helping your scholar thrive academically and stay engaged throughout the school year. So when you get those emails from your ST, do not ignore them. <laughs> Respond to them right away. <laughs> Okay, the role of the content teacher. So we have your ST, which is like your main go-to point of contact. And then we have our content teachers for all of your academic classes. So for scholars in 6 through 12, this teacher is instrumental in providing subject-specific support and ensuring academic success. So a few things. The content teacher is responsible for providing timely feedback and grading okay, for your work. So the content teacher provides that timely feedback and grades when they're submitted through AE. And please allow up to three business days for work to be graded. Okay? And that we know, we understand that that timely feedback is critical for scholars to understand their progress and where they need to improve. Okay? The content teacher is gonna host learning labs. Okay? Our content teacher hosts these learning labs for your scholars. They give additional instruction and cover specific content areas, helping scholars grasp challenging concepts. They also offer Q&A sessions. So Q&A is kind of that time where it's an excellent opportunity for scholars to ask questions, uh, receive immediate answers and guidance. They also might offer small group or one-on-one -on -one sessions. So they might invite scholars to a small group um, sessions to kind of just personalize support, to address any learning needs and ensure that no scholar is left behind. Okay? And they will also provide collaboration with your ST. So the content teachers will work closely with the ST to ensure that scholars reach their academic goals. Okay? So synchronized learning, learning labs, they're an essential part of our curriculum. So the content teacher is gonna play a vital role in the academic journey of our middle and high school scholars, offering the necessary support and instruction to help them succeed. That's what we're here for. 
the learning code. So for many of you here, that's you. So at Compass, we deeply value our learning coaches who often are the parents. They play a critical cool role in motivating scholars, ensuring collaboration, and bridging that connection between scholars and teachers. Your daily involvement is paramount. From signing the master agreement to maintaining regular communication, here are some of your responsibilities. Okay, one, to attend monthly connection meetings. I kind of spoke about this before. Those meetings kind of help us stay connected, okay? Keep everyone informed, ensure your scholar is on the right track, okay? Complete the learning log daily. So keeping an accurate daily record of your scholar's activities, um, it kind of ensures accountability as well. Um, signing activity logs each learning period. So at the end of each learning period, you'll need to sign what we call an activity log to verify your scholar's engagement and completion of activities. Communicating regularly with your ST, okay? Regular communication is key. This helps address any concerns, um, talk about goals and expectations, okay? Check your email and phone messages daily, okay? Please, important updates and information are often communicated through email and phone. So please be responsive to those. Ensure your scholar completes and submits work daily. So make sure your scholar is completing, submitting their work every day, Monday through Friday, um, in accelerated education, uh, consistent work habits, as we know, in life are vi vital for success, okay? Ensure that your scholar attends those live sessions. So giving them encouragement to maybe speak up during their live lessons and to ask questions and be an active participant in those live sessions really helps. Um, inform the records department of any changes. So if you change contact information, change your phone number, change your email, um, whatever it may be, please record or inform the records department within five days. Okay, uh, your responsibility is to supervise and tutor. So you will supervise, tutor, coach, and direct your scholars daily lessons and activities. Um, establish goals, okay? Help them create a schedule. Creating daily and weekly goals with a consistent schedule to help scholars stay organized and focused, okay? It helps to create a reward and a consequence system, okay, for your home, whatever works for you, but it helps to kind of encourage positive behavior and manage any challenges, okay? And participate in conferences. So take part in those learning coach and teacher conferences and uh, stay involved, okay? So the time that you spend daily can vary across grade levels. For example, younger scholars, of course, may need more supervision. Um, middle schoolers, a little bit less, while high schoolers often need guidance with managing deadlines and understanding complex subjects, which might, which might be less frequent, but more intensive. So your involvement is crucial in ensuring your scholar's success at Compass, and we're always here to help. Okay, so some of the scholar expectations, okay? Similar to some that we've heard already, but attending those live sessions, completing and submitting assignments daily, okay, proactively communicating, so not waiting until there's a problem, but actually being proactive in the learning is very crucial um, for success. Creating that daily schedule that works for you. Um, it's important that, that scholars develop good time management skills very early on. Okay, setting those calendars, setting those reminders, and uh, working to that daily schedule is very, very helpful. Okay, some things that you can kind of expect as far as time. I know that's a question that a lot of folks ask. Uh, how much time are you going to be on the computer? So realistically, high school scholars should expect to spend about four to five hours a day on their AE coursework. Okay, the workload will vary based on individual progress getting ahead or additional reading. So it will vary, but you can expect around about that, that time, four to five hours a day, okay? 
Um, make sure that we're all following the Arctic values and then participating in assessments and testing, which I'll touch on in just a moment. So by meeting these expectations, scholars will be well prepared to succeed and make the most of their learning experience at Compass. Okay, there's, here's a list or some things about our supplemental materials. So to personalize learning, our online teachers have created a supplemental list that each scholars, and there it is in the chat for you. Okay, these materials are carefully selected based on the scholars grade level and their high school courses. So when you get a moment, review that list, um, the supplemental materials, each scholar is gonna receive uh, those supplemental materials they ensure all the resources necessary for the, the topic of, of study. Um, any non-consumable materials must be returned to Compass if a scholar withdraws from the school or upon the completion of the course. This helps us manage resources and provide materials to future scholars. Okay, so when that time comes and, and the materials have to be returned, Compass will send a return label to make the process easy and convenient. Okay. And then the material list can also be found on our webpage, and this makes it easier for you to kind of check what materials are needed and to stay organized. Okay. Attendance, attendance and assignments. So attendance at Compass is taken a little differently than a traditional school okay, where teachers, you know, mark scholars present by physically seeing them at your desk and, you know, here, present. Here at Compass, attendance is monitored through login activity in AE and through activity logs. So a little bit about those, the daily activity logs, the learning coaches, Okay, you must complete activity logs daily. This is a crucial part of how we track attendance and ensure that scholars are engaged in their studies each day. Okay, another way that we track attendance is by those daily assignments. So scholars are required to complete and submit their assignments daily, Monday through Friday, directly in the AE curriculum. This helps maintain a consistent learning routine and keep scholars on track with their coursework, okay? There's also the School Pathways Parent Portal. So you as the LC complete the activity logs through your School Pathways Parent Portal. This system is user-friendly and allows LCs to efficiently track and report their scholars' daily activities, okay? Little bit about the school day requirements. School work must be completed. Um, this should ensure scholars are working towards their goals and maintaining steady progress. And then of course, those monthly connection meetings with your ST will give you and, and your scholars an opportunity to showcase their learning. Okay, it's an opportunity to review progress, address any concerns and collaborate together. So by adhering to these attendance and assignment guidelines, we ensure that our scholars are consistently engaged and making progress in their educational journey. Assigned work. So scholars will work with that supervising teacher regarding how to determine the work that is to be completed during the learning period. Scholars can also find this under the to-do list in Accelerate Ed. Um, scholars and learning coaches can also find a list of ass assignments on the parent slash scholar portal in School Pathways. Students who complete these assignments within the learning period will be on pace and will set up for success in their online courses. This year, we're doing something a little new. We're calling it Learning Showcase. It's going to be an exciting part of the learning period. So this year, scholars will be able to further showcase their learning each learning period. So scholars are going to choose two of their favorite assignments for each course and upload those assignments into the parent slash scholar portal. Then when the learning coach and scholar attend those monthly connection meetings, the team will review those assignments and the scholar will share what they like most about it and why it was chosen. So since this is 
Kind of a new process, the online team will provide multiple opportunities for scholars to learn about this process and complete it, get some practice in before we complete it during the month of September. A little about in scholar engagement evaluations. So to ensure that scholars are engaged and pro progressing, we evaluate several indicators each learning period, those being attendance, participation in the synchronous instruction. So those live learning labs and the Q and A's and homeroom um, and daily activity logs. So attendance, participation in synchronous instruction and daily activity logs. If a scholar is frequently absent or disengaged, it can lead to serious actions, including the possibility of withdrawal from Compass. Our re-engagement strategies are aligned with California legislation AB 130, which means we have specific procedures to help bring scholars back on track if they are identified as at risk. A little intervention, scholars who are consistently absent or not engaging will be flagged for intervention. This allows us to address any issues early on and provide the necessary support to help them succeed. Synchronous instruction, it's critical for scholars to attend those scheduled synchronous instruction sessions. These live classes are an important part of their education and they help ensure that they're keeping up with their studies. So by keeping up with these requirements and actively, actively participating in their education, scholars can stay on track and achieve their academic goals. We are here to support both scholars and learning coaches every step of the way. So don't ever feel like you're alone at this. So our learning labs, I'm just going to briefly go over this. Um, our key components, I've kind of mentioned it already, but just to dive a little deeper, the learning labs are core content courses. So they're live instructional lessons provided by content area teachers. They're designed to implement the main curriculum by offering additional learning opportunities. Okay, they are scheduled. So there is a, a calendar of schedule for those that will be sending out. Um, they touch on research-based strategies during their labs. So they use AVID strategies to support instruction and increase scholar engagement, okay? So those learning, those live virtual instructions are through both learning labs and Q&A sessions, okay? And just as a side note, remember the learning labs, content-based live instruction, Q&A sessions, more of a small group, one-on-one, -on -one, pop in, ask your question of the teacher, and then um, move on, okay? So for grades nine through 12, our high school scholars also have weekly homeroom sessions, okay? They're every Wednesday. So they have the homeroom and content-specific learning labs and q and So there's lots of support. These labs for homeroom offer in-depth exploration of subject matters and prepare scholars for college level work, okay? So those schedules will be shared, okay, with you in the welcome email that you'll receive from your ST. So be sure to check those emails for important information about Learning Labs and other key details, okay? Throughout these learning sessions, our teachers use research-based strategies to further enhance instruction. Okay, these strategies make for more engaging and interactive lessons, ensuring that scholars are actively involved in that learning process. So by participating in Learning Lab, scholars gain valuable synchronous learning experiences that support and enhance their overall education. Just really quick Q&As, um, they provide targeted sessions, um, it's more individualized okay, instruction. It could be a small group. Um, also, we utilize those Q&A sessions for proctoring, um, STAR, A through G, midterms, and final exams. Okay, But all of this will be communicated as well when we get closer to that time. So for high school scholars, the Q&A sessions provide an opportunity to complete proctoring, um, and just kind of ensures that all necessary assessments are completed properly. 
Okay, and then lastly, an additional live tutoring uh, is through our MTSS program. Okay, so our multi-tiered system of support program offers additional live tutoring sessions. These sessions provide further instructional support to help scholars succeed in their studies. Okay, so by participating in all of these Q&A sessions or live sessions, scholars can really receive the targeted support and individualized instruction that they need to excel. Whether it's getting help with specific questions, focusing on areas of need in small groups, or completing proctoring requirements. These sessions are an invaluable resource for our scholars. Okay, here we have a little bit about getting started in AE. I'm gonna run through this because I feel like a lot of this you have to kind of learn by doing. And so uh, you will get a copy of this at the end. It'll be accessible in our Weeks of Welcome library. And so you'll get to click on some of these links and really go through this process. Um, so this slide just kind of talks about how to get started in AE. There's a walkthrough video that will guide you step by step how to log into AE, um, class link, how to log into class link, school pathways, um, the direct login for parent scholar portal, okay, will be through there. Uh, it'll kind of go through some of your credentials, navigating the path, the portal, uh, buzz, which is the homepage. You'll, you'll see what that is once you're logged in, but it's going to have current announcement for your courses, to-do list for your courses, the activity stream, um, everything is kind of streamlined right there. Okay, on your courses screen, you'll see, um, again, the to-do list for that specific course. You'll be able to check your activity stream, access help if needed, and then also review announcements for the course. Okay, um, there's going to be a navigation page there as well and lots of links and videos for you to um, look through. So these resources are going to help you navigate and make the most of Accelerated Education Platform. There we go. My next slide. What am I having a tech difficulty here? There we go. There's my LC Observer account. <laughs> So let's talk about the LC Observer account. It's going to allow you as the learning coach to stay actively involved in your scholar's education. Okay, just briefly, you're going to observer account access. You're going to see, be an observer of your scholar and their progress and how they're working through AE at any time. Okay, it provides the way for the learning coach to keep track of their scholar's progress and activities. Um, there's a buzz and your scholar. So once you're in the parent portal, you're going to select buzz and then choose your scholar from the list, be able to peruse and see their courses. You can view their grades. Okay. And all the parents are like, yeah, uh, view course calendars. Okay. And view any communication that comes from the teachers and the school staff. So using the LC Observer account, you can effectively support and guide your scholar through their educational journey, ensuring they stay on track and succeed. Okay, so when the email comes, please sign up for your LC, your Observer account, and you'll be able to see all of those really cool features and check on grades and calendars and all that good stuff. Okay, a little bit about benchmark testing here at Compass. We utilize the STAR assessment. STAR is a benchmark assessment tool we use to evaluate scholars in math and reading. These assessments are computer-based and designed to provide accurate and timely information about each scholar's proficiency levels. And we take the STAR at the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, and the end. And it's a way to just kind of see as a parent and, of course, as a school to see like measurements, right? Because we want, we're all about growth and helping your scholars succeed. So those STAR assessments are important for that reason. Um, we take them three times, like I said, the baseline proficiency. So upon enrollment, once you take, your scholar takes a STAR, we'll start to establish that baseline of their proficiency levels. 
And this initial assessment helps us understand where each scholar stands academically. Okay, then there's a progress, which is kind of throughout the school year, mid-year. And so we'll be able to compare the results from the beginning, middle, and then again at the end and identify areas of growth and areas that may need additional support. Okay, they are a requirement for all scholars. So participation in this, these benchmarks is mandatory as detailed in the master agreement. These assessments are essential for determining satisfactory educational progress and ensure the scholars are on track with their learning. By participating in STAR assessments, scholars help us gather valuable data that also informs our teaching strategies and supports their academic success. Okay. And like, of course, all assessments, please, when we're about to take the star, just encourage your scholar to always do their best and try their hardest on all assessments. Okay. Briefly, Scholar Compass email, we use our Compass Gmail account for everything Compass. Okay, That account is essential for accessing various Compass systems and staying connected with teachers and school staff. So when you when your scholar first enrolls, the IT department should have sent a welcome email containing the login information and instructions for their Compass Gmail account. Make sure to locate this email if you haven't already. Okay, again, because that is that Gmail account is how we communicate with the teachers, staff. Any, any help, if you needed to send an IT ticket, all of that has to be done through the com your Compass email, okay? Um, scholars must use it to even access their live Zoom okay, sessions, those learning labs and those Q&As, they have to be logged in through their Compass uh, email. Um, even to access school pathways, Parent Square, Class Link, all the Compass things, okay? So please make sure you find that email, um, and once you log in for the first time, if you haven't already, it'll prompt you to change your password to something that's more secure, okay? That's an important step to protect your account. Also, there's a help desk link. I believe it was linked in the chat as well. If you're having difficulty signing into your Gmail account, please fill out a help desk ticket and our wonderful IT technicians, and they are wonderful and they're so quick, are ready to assist you with any issues that you may have, okay? So by consistently using that Gmail account and following these guidelines, scholars can stay on top of their assignments, communications, and important updates throughout the year. Okay, ClassLink, I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier, but let me explain what ClassLink is and why it's important. So ClassLink is a powerful tool that provides a one-click single sign-on access to all the web and window applications that Compass has. This means that with just one login, your scholar can access all the necessary educational tools and resources without needing to remember multiple passwords, usernames, and then more passwords, and you know, multiple sign-ins, right? Everything is in one. So there is a setup that's required. So think of it as kind of a one-stop shop for everything your scholar needs to stay organized and focus on their education. Okay. There was also information included in that welcome email from IT. Okay, that includes detailed information and instructions on how to set up class link. So be sure to follow these instructions carefully to ensure everything is set up. And by using class link, we simplify the process of accessing educational tools and resources. This helps your scholars stay organized and focus on their learning, making it easier for them to succeed. So we're thrilled to use this system, ClassLink, to ensure and enhance the educational experience at Compass. I almost wish I had something like that in my personal life, right? Because all the, the logins, you're forgetting this and this password and that. Parent Square, if you haven't already, Parent Square, it's a fantastic online tool that we use to keep families connected and engaged at Compass. So it's designed for communication and organization between families and Compass. It's kind of a central hub where you as the parent will get all the information and updates that you need. 
So when you enroll, you're going to receive an invitation to join Parent Square. So this email will contain a link, activate your account, activate it as soon as you get the email. So then you'll start accessing all the features of Parent Square. Okay, check it regularly because there's updates. Um, also our MMU, which stands for the Monday morning update that will, guess what? It comes Monday morning every week. It's going to provide you with important compass updates and information and even things like field trips and just engagement opportunities that I really hope that all of you um, sign up for and attend and get involved with compass. It's all going to come through Parent Square. There's an events calendar uh, that has important dates and events that are happening at Compass, Compass activities, deadlines, all that good stuff. Um, you can also customize the notifications from Parent Square. You can get updates via text, email, or directly in the app. Okay, because there is a, a Parent Square app based on what works best for you. Okay, so by using Parent Square, you'll always be in the loop and able to stay organized with everything happening at Compass. It's a valuable tool for maintaining strong communication and engagement between our schools and families. Keep in contact. So the Learning Coach Academy. In August, we hosted Weeks of Welcome, which we're here now. We're here. We're glad that you are here, okay, to share important information about our online program and our other departments. So here's an overview of the sessions we hosted during this event, okay? There's a Welcome Back Night. We're going to have that. There's an online learning program orientation. There's open houses for different departments. So assessment and IT is going to have an open house. Engagement and attendance is going to have an open house. The special education department will host their own open house. Scholar success department, they'll have an open house. The English learner department has an open house. And guess what? So does counseling. Counseling services is going to host their very own open house. So please, you're going to have access to the links for all of these sessions later on after this is over when you receive an email with this presentation attached. Well, please take the time to watch the recordings when you have a chance. If you can join us live, that's even better to see what was shared. These sessions are packed with valuable information to help you and your scholar navigate a successful school year here at Compass. Okay, there is a list here, some engagement opportunities that we are always excited about. So, so many offerings at our school, okay, field trips, events, scholar clubs, virtual scholar workshops, back to school, in-person picnics, scholar recognition and celebrations, LCA, weeks of welcome at the beginning of the school year, which you are a part of right now, and then more to come second semester. So it's going to be amazing. Our engagement department is fun. They're lively, and we just want to offer as many opportunities to connect with your scholars and you yourself as possible. So please sign up, check out the engagement department calendar uh, for all those fun and exciting events. And last, but certainly not least, okay, take a moment to review the online digital welcome packet, okay? Take a moment, review that packet. It's linked in the chat right there. There's tips for setting up for a successful school year included, such as links to onboarding materials, the scholar handbook, email, class link, all that good stuff that I talked about, it's in that online digital welcome packet. So please take a minute uh, and review that. And I think we have reached the finish line. Oh my goodness, here's a glimpse. We already showed the wow schedule. So we hope that you join one of those events or orientations, okay? Those special departments and programs, all those open houses in week two, our assessment, scholar success, and EL departments are going to provide you with some amazing information to ensure our scholars have a successful school year in the event that you miss one of those live offerings. A recorded library of all of those offerings will be made available in our upcoming Monday morning updates. Remember the MMU Monday morning. So I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today and wish you much success in the 24-25 school year. And as you can see there on the screen, 
My name is Michelle Woods. I'm the online high school coordinator. My email is there. Please do not hesitate to reach out to myself. My email is there. Or our director of online learning is Janae Smith. And we're happy that you guys joined us today.